Kurimar. You know this idea, female infanticide? When as soon as a baby girl is born, it's still happening in India today. When a baby girl is born, they say, this woman, this girl is going to be a burden on my life. Why is she going to be a burden on my life? We're going to talk about that in, in the next point. So even today, there is this idea that as long as you have a woman, a girl being born into your house, we can kill this baby. Female babies are still being killed today. The killing of newborn babies is specifically prohibited by Guru Gobind Singh Ji and by Sikh Rath Mariyadas. The Rath Mariyada is the code of conduct. We have Pai Daya Singh Ji, one of the Panch Pyare. He's written the Sikh code of conduct and he specifically says anyone who is engaging in Kurimar, in killing of their babies, he says do not associate with them. Pai Prahlad Singh, Pai Desa Singh, and even today in the modern Sikret Nama, it says the Sikh will not kill daughters, nor shall give their daughter into, in marriage into a family where this act is committed. Gender equality isn't a new concept in Sikhi. We've been talking about this for hundreds of years and we've been practicing it. We don't just have an ideal. We're actually saying you are banned from doing this. If you want to call yourself a spiritual Sikh, you are banned from doing this. You're banned from associating with them. You're not even allowed to marry your children into a family that does this. Why is the woman seen as a burden? Because of another Indian tradition called the dowry system. The dowry system is a system whereby women, brides, are expected to pay the groom's family. If I have a daughter and I want my daughter to marry another young man, I have to pay that young man's family to take the burden of my daughter off my hands. That's the dowry system. The Guru specifically says that the dowry system is something that is against spiritual values. The Guru, Guru Ram Das Ji specifically, the fourth Guru says, any other dowry which unconscious people show is only for false ego. It's worthless. He says, Har Prab Mere Babala, Har Devo Daan Mad Dajo. Guru saying, if you want to give away a, a prize, if you want to get some real value in your life, don't get it from your bride's family. Ask for Naam, ask for meditation. That's the real prize in life. And when did dowry become an, an issue in India? In 1961. There's something called the Dowry Prohibition Act. And you know what? Till today, dowry is being enforced in India and the police aren't enforcing this law. There's an act in India that says it's against the law to ask for dowry or to give a dowry. 1960 Dowry Prevention Act. But is it enforced? No, because culturally we've been not been able to move past this.